Hi everyone! My name is Catherine. My name is Jacqueline. And I'm Patrick. And we're all part of the California Pomona American Society of Civil Engineers. And today we're going to show you about our quick resistance structures. As a civil engineer, it is extremely important that buildings are made to withstand earthquakes, especially living in California. Buildings need to be able to ensure that the safety of everyone inside of them and allow them to get out. While buildings can never be 100% earthquake proof, there are ways that civil engineers can reduce the damage inflicted should the situation arise. This activity is part of our series called STEM Kids where we teach you about civil engineering through different hands-on experiences. We're excited for this one, so let's go ahead and get started. For this activity, you will need paper, pencil, or pen in this case, toothpicks, marshmallows, tape, um, you're supposed to use marbles, but in this case it would be, be ping pong balls and a shoe box. First, we need to make our earthquake simulator. To do this, remove the lid from the shoe box and place the marbles inside. Next, with the help of a parent or guardian, cut about a half inch off of all four sides of the top of the shoe box. In this case, it's already been done. Make sure to be careful when handling scissors. Once the top is small enough to fit inside of the shoe box, place it on top of the marbles in the box. This will act as the ground during an earthquake. Now go ahead and grab your pencil and paper. As a civil engineer, the planning and design process is crucial to construction, so sketch out a plan for your building. But in this case, we will be using a whiteboard to sketch. When sketching out your structure, remember that lines are toothpicks and dots are marshmallows. Some common shapes used when making buildings are triangles and squares. After you finish your sketching, you can now start building your structures. Now that we're done building, we can finally test our structures. Place your structure on the shoebox lid and secure the bottom with two pieces of tape. To simulate what it's like during an earthquake, take the shoe box and shake it gently. Gradually increase the force and observe how your building is affected. Use your observations to find weak points in your structure so you can improve it for the next time you try this activity. As you can see, the second structure fell to the right because the middle marshmallow had no support. This is just a very simple way to show an extremely important factor in designing buildings. It's one of the things civil engineers need to account for during the design process. We hope that you learn more about civil engineering through this activity and thanks again for watching. Bye! Bye.